after you log into Azure, you're going to create your uh, application registration. You'll select those three as shown here. Here you're just creating the application. You can call it whatever you want. Um, and then in the sign on URL, two sections below, you're going to put in as shown localhost port 8000. And then click create. Once the application is created, you're going to have to copy a series of um, uh, character strings. I've blacked them out in the video, but you should be able to see what they are. You're going to see that and three other character strings moving forward. You're going to have to copy, and those um, are what the character strings are titled. So create a little notepad for yourself and just uh, save those as we move through the video. You're going to need them at a later time. And as shown here, select settings and then key. Again, copy this value and save it. Once you do that, select App Registrations at the top. Again, copy the directory ID and save it, and then press Home. Then you're going to search for the resource called Subscriptions and select it. And again, copy the subscription ID and then click on your subscription name to move forward. Here, all you're doing is searching for um, the application name that you created towards the beginning of the process and uh, selecting it and saving it. Now what we have to do is uh, search for the virtual networks resource and select that and then we're going to go through a process of creating a virtual network that ultimately uh, all your Horizon Cloud on Azure resources are going to live in. Just uh, create the networks and the um, uh, resource group as shown here. You can use whatever networks you want uh, and resource group, but I would keep them slash 16s and slash 24s as shown here. And of course, uh, you need to use private address space. Once you have everything filled in, just press create. So the last thing we're going to do is go into the VNet and we are going to select DNS servers and what we're going to do is add whatever DNS server uh, that you have in your environment to the configuration of the VNet. And what that's going to do is all uh, resources that are created inside the VNet or all virtual machines are going to leverage that server as their DNS server by default. So that's the last manual thing you're going to have to do inside Azure. Uh, the next, go into Active Directory DC and create some users, create some groups that AD Server could sit on-prem or inside Azure. If it sits on-prem, you're going to need to uh, VPN back to your, you know, your environment. But for the purposes of this demo, the Active Directory server uh, sits inside Azure. But the roles and groups that you're going to create is applicable regardless of where your, uh, your Active Directory is hosted.